Christmas is coming, so in this video I will use my Christmas Green Edge Springs. I don't have a green trigger for the row counter, but I will use the black one. Now we are ready for knitting. First make sure the racking handle is in its upper position. Raise 30 needles on the front bed of the machine, 15 to the left and 15 to the right of zero. Place the edge springs on the last working needles and make sure the latches are closed. Now raise the opposite 30 needles on the back bed of the machine. Arrange the needles in one to one division and place the edge spring on the last working needle. Arrange the needles on the back bed in one to one division and place the edge spring on the last working needle. The needles must be arranged contrary to the needle rule. You can see the needles up close. I'm using two strands of red and two strands of white acrylic yarn. Set the front lock to CX and the stitch size to 2.5. Set the back lock the same way, CX and stitch size 2.5. Insert the black strippers and take the first color yarn. Now knit two rows. Clear the row counter and increase the stitch size to 5 on both sides of the lock. Raise all 30 needles on the front bed and move the edge spring on the last working needle. Then raise the opposite needles on the back bed. They must be arranged as in the diagram. Now knit 20 rows. After each row use the orange ruler and tap on the working needles to tighten the yarn. This way you will not jam the machine and the cast on will look perfect. After you knit the first 10 rows, you can continue knitting without tapping on the needles. Change the color and knit 10 rows. Change the color again, take the orange tool, hook the yarn from the eyelet, then hold the orange tool near the color changer and knit 8 rows. This way you will leave long tails and it will be easy to hide them later. If you find this step difficult, you can simply cut the yarn and retread the machine. You can skip this step if you want to use the pearl side of the knitting. Change the color again, take the yarn with the orange tool and knit 8 rows. Make sure you are holding the yarn tail between the beds of the machine. Repeat the same steps, change the color and knit 8 rows. You have to repeat these steps until you knit a total of 40 rows.
Change the color and knit 10 rows. Don't forget to leave a long yarn tail if you want to use the knitted side as a right side. Now change the color and knit the last 20 rows. By the way, I'm using waste yarn to make this project. At this point you can cut the yarn from the lock. Take the yarn tail and thread it into the double eye bodkin tool. Remove the edge springs and start taking the stitches on the front bed from right to left. You can take one or two stitches at the same time. When you take the leftmost stitch on the front bed, start taking the stitches on the back bed from left to right. After you take the last stitch, the knitting will fall from the machine. It should look like this, a short tube with many yarn tails. You can use either side as a right side, if you want to use the knitted side you have to pull all tails to the other side. In the video I will use the purl side. Pull the cast on or the cast off tail to gather one of the ends. Then use a needle and make several knots. I will turn the tube inside out so the knitted side is inside. All the yarn tails will remain inside. Make sure to separate the tail for gathering the other end. If you have a styrofoam bowl or a Christmas bowl you can use it or you can take your waste bin and use waste yarn to fill the knitted piece. Also, if you fill it up with rice you can use it as a food bag, it's just the right size, or you can sew an eye cord to it and make it a cat toy. After you fill it up, pull the tail to close the top part. Stretch the fabric a little bit to make the top evenly gathered. Use a tapestry needle to sew the hole closed. You can wrap the yarn twice around your finger to make a loop for hanging the bow on the tree. Skip this step if you are making a foot back. Finally make a knot and hide the yarn tail inside.
and that is the final result. Of course, it will look better with a styrofoam or Christmas bow inside, I am just giving you the idea. By the way, if you pull only one of the tails and make a loop on the top, you can use it as a Christmas hat. That's all for today, thank you for watching, have a nice day and see you in my next video!